myself Santosh. I'm working as a micro a manager at Microsoft. And along with that, I'm also taking uh, care of the training part in case our data vision. And I do have around nine years of experience working with data related technologies, uh, including data science, data analyst and data engineering. I have experience around uh, working with around 80 projects in different domains with respect to telecommunication, healthcare, e-commerce, and banking. And for the last five years, I've been training people in different technologies. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see difference between Azure Analytics and Azure Engineering. Now, these two are widely used in most of the industries. So we need to understand what technology is it and which path you can choose you want to choose towards analytical side or you want to choose towards the engineering side and if i ask you to find out the difference between these two words the one common word is azure in azure whether you do like to choose analytics or data engineering this video will solve your confusion now before getting on to the topic as part of this video we'll speak on the agenda that is first we'll talk about the azure and then we'll talk about the Azure Analytics and then Azure Data Engineering and we'll see what is the difference and which one you can choose depending on your interest. Now, Analytics is a word which we actually drive it insights from the data. Whereas Engineering, if you see a common English word, it's something like innovation or let's like finding an implementation so that's the actual meaning as per the dictionary. Now, if you want to take one step further, first we'll speak about Azure. Now, why we have to go with Azure? Why can't we do everything with analytics in the on-prem? Well, what you're doing now, currently you are getting the data from the on-prem tools and you're doing analysis. Maybe you're using Tableau, you're using Power BI and you're doing the analytics. Well, everything is now restricted to the ground. But is it going to be forever? To answer this question, definitely no, because the future is going to be in cloud. The reason by 2025 is expected that the data will increase to 175 gigabytes. So gigabytes is basically 10 to the power of 21. Now, if this is a range, the data will be increasing. You can't even, even imagine where you can store the data. Now, you need to find a way to store the data. In case if you're trying to store it in your on-prem and if you're going to work with your on-premises, the challenges you will definitely have is you cannot have your maintenance cost and you need a lot of investment for buying huge servers, systems. So that's a very big problem. And also there is a high possibility that you may lose the data, data security. So a lot of things are there. And finally, your performance also will hit. Now, keeping all this in mind towards the on-prem, forget about it's engineering or analytics or science. The problem here is I am not able to solve it in on-prem. Now, we can talk about the cloud service. Well, there are three famous cloud services which can help us. One will be AWS, one will be Azure, and one will be GCP. Well, as part of this course and this scope, we are going to talk about Azure. Now, what is Azure? Now, Azure is a Microsoft platform cloud-based service which can help us in solving all the problems. Now, if you look at Azure, they have around 200 plus services. Now, when I say 200 plus services, even from starting with a web application, mobile application, analytics, storage, processing, computation, IoT systems, where I can simply say that it's like a one-stop shop which can get you all the services within one cloud. Now, okay, we know that it can provide all the service. The next question is, can it solve all the problem related to on-prem? Yes, it can and it will. Maybe not today, but in future, Azure is actually 
Microsoft Azure is actually trying to add more of its service. So day by day, we can also see there is some improvement. Five years back, 10 years back, this was not the number of services, but nowadays we are seeing 200 plus services. So right from the computation, networking, storage, migration, mobile application, you can use it for all of your current problem as Azure is a solution. Now, question to you. Is it possible to learn all 200 service? Definitely no. Even people who are working in Microsoft and people who are working in Azure will not know all 200 services. Now, whatever is required for you, you use that service. Now, that's the actual meaning of service. You join our institute. You cannot learn every course. Whichever is suitable for you, you learn that course. Now, that's a right example I can give you for Azure as well. You come here, you use whatever service you want, and then you solve your problem. Now, two major problems which we have in the real time is trying to do analytics on the data and trying to do engineering on the data. Now, that's where I do have now two paths to decide whether should I choose analytics or should I choose engineering? Well, as I've said in the previous slide, there are 200 services. Now, it's practically not possible to learn 200 services, but we can categorize now what are the services which are useful for analytics and what are the services for which is useful for engineering. Now, if you talk about analytics, well, First of all, trying to get insights from the data, converting your raw data into insights. We already know the on-prem Power BI and now we have a Azure cloud-based Power BI. We have a Azure analytic service which acts like a complete one-stop shop, all of your analytical solutions. We can also go with machine learning models. So all this will be part of Azure analytics. Now, before even doing analytics, you should make sure that data is ready for you. If data itself is not clean, then how can you work on analytics? For that is where your data engineer comes into picture. Well, data engineers are the people who try to provide you proper data, data preparation, data cleaning, data transformations. Now, these people are responsible for doing all these things, making sure that it is readily available for you. Of course, here I'm going to try to solve a different problem and I will be using different services. So Azure Event uh, is basically like it provides you live streaming data and data lake storage or a block storage are helpful for storing your huge data. And if you talk about HD Insight, these are responsible for transformation. Now there are certain common services which could be used for both analytics as well as engineering like Azure Data Factory, Azure Synopsys and Azure Steam Analytics. Like these are the two or three services which can be used for both the problems. Now, this is not the complete, this is limited services which we have picked. But the takeaway from this slide will be set of services you can use it for Azure Analytics, set of services you can use it for Azure Data Engineering. Now, okay, here there are few services, here there are few services. Now comes your confusion. Well, which path to choose? Should I go with Azure Analytics or should I go with Azure Data Engineering? Now, to drill down the final solution, it all drills down to your interest. If you are very much interested in converting your data into visualizations, doing some data, understanding, try to see how data is treating, and if you are like focusing more on the data related analytics, you can choose Azure Analytics. Now, if you feel like, oh, I'm like not, about, not at all able to work with the clean, I mean, unclean data, let me jump into data cleaning part. Let's prepare the data first. Let's try to understand what is our understanding about the data, where we are getting the data, how can we go through it. Let's make sure that data is properly organized for the other team to use. In that case, you can choose data engineering. Well, as I said, Azure is a common word, but 
whether you want to choose analytics or you have to choose engineering it all drills down to your interest if you are focusing on pipelines where you are concentrating more on the preparation side data preparation data transformations now engineering could be the right option for you if you are focusing on little bit of business side where you want to come up with the more insights decision making then analytics for is for you but one good thing is only the services change but in terms of technology where a sql python uh, your big data knowledge everything is like common now based on this you can choose your analytics or you can choose your engineering well i would like to tell you that we are the institute who are going to start with both the courses we'll be starting azure analytics as well as we'll be starting azure data engineering now based on the interest you can start deciding which one you want to opt but at the opportunity level both are at its peak because remember one thing nowadays every industry every organization is trying to solve the problem on the next level where is this next level next level is on the cloud so we have choose azure but you want to go with analytics side or you want to go with the engineering side the choice is yours based on the interest but at the opportunity level both are the equal opportunities in fact there could be some up and downs in terms of a salary part or a package part or a compensation part but knowing azure services is always a plus thanks for watching this video is reach out to our team for more information please subscribe our channel we will be coming up with different set of videos on different topics thank you